Hi there, you are watching the tutorial webpage layout design from the playlist Social Media Small Business from New Media Supply. You might wonder why the first tutorials are about web design. This is because a website is the foundation of your presence online. Your webpage is the home base connected to your social media. Therefore, having a good webpage or website is the most important. In this tutorial, I'll show you simple tips to get an engaging page. You want your visitors to read your page, right? Follow these steps and nothing can go wrong. Keywords People type in Google or other search engine what they want to see. In the first tutorial, we talked about keywords and you connect this keyword with the title of your page and the header. Then it's your job to give the customer what he is looking for. So the customer types something in Google and comes to your page. Clear structure. The most important is that a visitor can see within a few seconds what your page is about. It starts, it starts with an engaging header followed by an introductory paragraph, which has slightly bigger letters than the rest. The rest of the page exists then of headers but smaller than the header on the top, with a picture, text and optionally a link. The header. The header has to be engaging. This is the trigger if a customer reads more or not. A header has to meet three criteria. 1. Engaging. 2. High number of searches. and 3. Low competition. In the header, there has to be some of your keywords for the page, as I showed you in the first tutorial. The introductory paragraph. A short introductory paragraph quickly explains the title. Your visitor wants to know if this is really the page he needs. A title is a bit too short. The introductory paragraph has to be engaging as well and is the second most important element on the whole your page. Paragraphs. The next elements are paragraphs having each a header. This header must be smaller than the header on top of the page. Visitors quickly scan the page and often they scan over the headers until they found what they really want to know. Important is to use visuals like picture, infograph or illustration. That makes it much easier for your visitor. Make it easy to oversee your page in a few seconds. Top to bottom, left to right. Your visitors tend to read from top to bottom and from left to right. If you follow the previous steps, the top to bottom structure should be alright. Sometimes we have advertisements on our page or some additional menus. We put these on the right. If we put something on the right, it must be a clear structure. Maybe the main menu of your website or a menu of your page. Colors. When I, st when I started web design, I always wanted to make something special that stands out of all other pages. I learned that it is very time consuming. There are a lot of things you have to pay attention to when you have a small business or when you start up your business and you cannot afford to spend all your time in designing your web page. I recommend to be careful with colors. Don't make them too saturated but use them very subtle. The best and easiest is to keep the background white and the letters black. This prevents also issues with visitors who are colorblind. Black and white will do well, and colors are really not that important as having a good structure. Much more important is that your customer can scan quickly through your page and that he is engaged to read your page. Saturated colors can distract. Ever had a study book in colors? It's more confusing than that it has benefits. 
But if you want to use colors, take a look at some color combinations. Try that. In my opinion, the most ugly color combination. The easiest way to get an impression about this color combination is to go to Google and type in Interior Design Triad Colors. And if you click on Images, you have a good impression what it does. Yes, it makes you tired. Quad. Let's type in Interior Design Quad Colors. It's almost the same as Triad Colors. I'll show you a color wheel here. Let's say I have blue. The opposite color is yellow, which gives a high contrast. Then we choose another color on 90 degrees on it and add another opposite color. We have then quad colors. Monochromatic. Let's type in Google interior design monochromatic colors. Wow. What a rest and what a piece. Monochromatic with an opposite color. Let's type in Google Interior Design Monochromatic Opposite Color. And here I see a picture that, show, that shows these colors. So in short, be careful with colors. They might, they might give you a lot of work if you overuse it. Although, don't worry about the picture you add in each paragraph. That is okay. I'm talking about the whole page, including menu, sidebar, color of titles, buttons, etc. Fonts. About fonts. Just use an easy readable font and don't use too much different fonts. You could use a font for your header on top, another font for your introductory paragraph, a font for your header on the rest of the page, and a font for your text. Sometimes one font is okay. I'll show you some useful fonts and the names. Hi, um, yeah, I'm back, but I'm uh, more or less uh, live now, uh, so before I made a um, a pre-recording, let's say. I'm, I'm going to show you the fonts. Here are some fonts. I think the Droid Sans, um, maybe the Cantorel, Open Sans, Roboto. Uh, those are nice um, fonts for, to make the text. And if you want, you can make uh, headers with this font or I think any other font, but not the Mario weather. Uh, this is more for luxury stuff like uh, maybe chocolates or fashion. Also this one, Manifesto. Oops. Okay, then i show you quickly a website, which of I think that it has a good um, structure. For example, how to write a book. That was what I typed in on Google. So, I'm the visitor. I went to Google. I typed in how to write a book. And I see here a header. And then I see a quote. And then introductory paragraph. Very nice. And then the text I start. Um then here a header with some points, another header with some points. That's very nice because you can see getting started, staying accountable, staying motivated, and uh, very good. Uh, I think I would read this if I was looking for how to how to um, write a book, I think. I'm the one who is going to read this kind of page. Uh, let's do let's do another check. 
And let's say uh, type in how to uh, train your puppy. Let's check. Oh, let's um, choose any uh, page. Doesn't matter. Let's take a look. I never like this one. So, um, I see a title, introductory paragraph, and then uh, see here. Ah, uh, here I miss. I miss some um, headers here because. I have to read this all, and I I, I can scan for for uh, for what I want to read. So maybe here I here the header start again. That's good. Then. Yeah, now that gives you some idea. Um, then of course uh, you will see my video if you are interested. Uh, you click on subscribe. This is not my video, but I cannot show you my own video because I'm logged in. Um, and then I have a bonus tip, and that is uh, my new website, Free Covers Photos, uh, Free Cover Photos Facebook. And this is a website where you can download uh, free covers for your Facebook uh, after you. Uh, after you uh, subscribe on the newsletter and these are all kinds of um, templates you can um, use and for example in Photoshop you can put your letters or we can customize it but if we customize it that's then not free but you can customize it yourself if you want but more interesting is maybe you we I post your tutorials about start your online business tutorial. So if you go there, then you see some uh, tutorials here, and some uh, I will post always useful links. And here's a link for two free websites. That's very nice. Um, the, it's not only two free websites, but there is also community. And there is a keyword too, which is then uh, free to use. So that's uh, very nice. Um, let me check if I forgot something to tell. Uh, oh yeah, this is the color wheel. So we choose blue, yellow. That's the opposite color, turn 90 degrees, and again opposite color. And then we have a uh, T-thread color, not quad colors, but T-thread. Uh, I quickly show you how I type in uh, Google. So I go to, for the colors, in uh, Terrier. There it's already. There is sign. Let's look for more no chromatic colors. Click on images and then you see some beautiful uh, interior design. I think that was it. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you have uh, comments, please uh, I'll write it uh, down somewhere like that. Or uh, you can subscribe or whatever. All right. Thank you for watching and see you next time.